Timothy R. Montes is a natural-born Filipino who grew up in Borongan, Eastern Samar. He studied in the Creative Writing Program of Suleiman University under the tutelage of Edilberto and Edith Tiempo during the late 1980s and early 1990s. He was able to improve his writing skills in the university and obtain his master's degree and became a regional fictionist of our country. Timothy Montes was born to Jose Montes and Aloysa E. Montes. Jose was born in 1904. Eloisa was born in 1911 in the United States. Timothy had four siblings, Guadalupe Robert Montes, and three other siblings. Timothy R. Montes has three works in eight publications in two languages and 47 library holdings. The timeline of publication is in 1994 to 1995 and 2002 to 2003. Mr. Timothy Montes has also been a recipient of the National Literary Awards like the Planaca, Graphic, Free Press, and the Writer's Prize from the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or NCCA. He has been teaching in the La Salle University, Manila for the past two years of his life. A lot of his works have been published in various magazines and anthologies. The story unfolds as the speaker of the story talks about her experiences and struggles in life, as a flashback as she talks with Manny Biben. She recalls how miserable her life is, how her husband used to beat her up, and how people laughed at her for that. When she was still starting the fish business, her husband stopped giving her, giving her money, and it became her problem since she needed to feed her five children. She started wo working by herself by selling fish from house to house. But she did not try to have this stall and, se and sell in the market because of competition. One morning, she happened to pass by a daughter in his house and she saw that the gate was open. She tried to enter inside until she saw the dogs which scared her, but she still tried to enter in the house. The big dogs formed a circle around her as she, as she shouted, scared, on the driveway to sell. The daughter of the attorney, Angelica, came out holding her baby. They stared at each other. A lot of things came to her mind. Then the dog suddenly stopped barking at her. She tried to ask Angelica if she wanted to buy fish. She refused because she had, she, she had no money and she is home alone. A lot of realizations came to her mind when she asked Angelica to hold her baby. When she heard the dogs again, she grabbed the fish and beat up the dogs. Then she started running and, the, and then sold the fish in the other houses. After that story, she decided to change her life and she already has a story in the market. A chosen literary tourist that will be used to criticize the literary piece is entitled of Fish, Flies, Dogs, and Women by Timothy Montes, our feminist criticism and reader-dependent approach to further understand the story. As we, as what it stated, in the Lumin, reader responses to suggest that the role of the reader is essential to the meaning of the text. For only reading experience, those literary works come alive, which means the story will be analyzed based on our perspective understanding, means the readers. To further explain, in the real meaning of the story, Lumin points out that the feminism is that it aims to understand the nature of gender inequality and examines women's social roles, experiences, and interests, which is generally proving a critic and social relationship. Much of feminist theory also focuses on analyzing gender inequality and the promotion of women's interests.
in this approach, I it will focus on how the story takes place in a feminism. Application of the literary theories. Reader. Dependent approach or reader response. In the story, we can clearly see that a lot of people are being judgmental to a woman like the speaker and Angelica. A lot of people are judging the both of them without knowing the struggle that they have been through. Those people never understand the, tr the struggle of a mother and being a mother. Judgment to what she sees in the speaker. Judgment is what we experience when she sees a scenario or read the scenario of a person that happened to their life. We still experience a lot of people being judgmental nowadays in the story. My opinion about it is that it can be the mother or speaker did not choose to be in that kind of life and the situation. Approach. Upon reading the literary piece entitled Of Fish, Flies, Dogs, and Women, it can simply tell us that it is all about a mother who sell fish from house to house to feed her five children. Feminism comes in when the woman or speaker in the story tells her story on how she struggled in her life and on how hard her life is. Another thing that we focus on feminism in the story is that when Angelica came in, and some of her stories were revealed. It can be seen in the story on how strong a woman is in every situation she faces. Also, it tackles the woman who struggle in her life and how life used to be. It also tells how she experienced abuse from her husband that usually in the real world women experience until this time.